Now they're ready. 1,000 racing tycoon legend walked out, missed the kick by a couple of lengths. First to go, Drift Star Metro Boy began speedily. So did Rebel Yell, Sterling Estate, Tawny Peach being bustled forward. Spirit and Fires back in the middle, and then three wide is Field Division. In the second half, Olivia knows McEdith, Misty Lad, beautiful minds back there as well. Second from last, and tacking on Tycoon Legend, Drift Star Metro Boy. They've gone out hard and fast. They're two lengths clear from Rebel Yell in the clear third. Third. A length and a half to Sterling Estate. Tawny Peets over on the outside, running fifth before the bend. A further two lengths, Olivia Nose, Misty Lad, Spirit and Fire, Makita. Beautiful Mind, well back with Tycoon Legend, Field Division. Metro Boy hit the lead at the 200 mark and kicked a length and a half in front of Drift Star. Rebel Yell sticks on, but Metro Boy with a handy break with 100 left to go. Rebel Yell's now starting to close him down. Rebel Yell goes to Metro Boy, got on equal terms and did too well. Rebel Yell's won from Metro Boy. Boy. Sterling Estate, Misty Lad, both finishing on strongly right behind them in a mix for the minor placings. Running on Tycoon Legend as well as McEdith. Beautiful mind behind them with Drift Star Olivia Nose. Then Field of Vision with Tawny Pete dropping out and the last of them in. Rebel Yell, number four, is the winner. Written by Jade McNaught. First up today, the Lulu Chiani trained gelding for Rebel Yell. Very good first up card. That's four first up appearances that have yielded three wins. Got that lovely run behind them when the field broke open early. McNaught was able to just allow it to drift across. Metro Boy Drift Star with Metro Boy booting away at the 250 mark and then run down by Rebel Yell. Sterling Estate finishing strongly in the last 100 and on their heels with Misty Lad making good ground as well. Beautiful mind back there in the field. She was in some pretty heavy traffic and had to be just uh, nursed and then eased back there where one or two shifted around, just taking a bit of her running at one particular stage. But honours with Rebel Yell by Poet's Voice from Leap Motif. For Bradley Thoroughbreds, managed by Brian Bradley, Trevor Nisbet, Billy Biggs. Trained by Lulu Chiani. He's done it again here with this four-year-old with another fresh first-up victory. 11 starts and now four wins. And three of those have been first up in a campaign. Jade McNaught posting her first winner this afternoon in 57-7-3. A neck along neck with the margins. Metro Boy is second home by City Place from Bourne Princess, trained by Dan Morton, ridden by Chloe Azapati. And number 12, Sterling Estate, the so secret Pepe's Pride Gilding, Andrew Castle, the writer for Jimmy Grieve. 4-2, 12-3, Misty Ladd is officially fourth. Race six, the Amelia Park handicap next at 4.50 over the 1,400. Number eight, Song of Vincent is the scratching. We'll get a sectional to hand very soon. Here is these place getters prepared to make their way back to the enclosure. And uh, Louis Luciani making the trip up from Capel, about to join Scotty Embry down in the yard. And he's again put the polish on Rebel Yell for a first up assault and proved to be once again most effective, Scotty. Absolutely. Lou Luciani, the king of the first up, uh, bring them to town and win. Lou, this horse has always shown above average ability and he's really starting to furnish into a nice animal. Yes, he has always had you know, terrific form. There's been terrific form around him. A good filly of uh, the Pierce's that's gone east and performed well. She's, he's, uh, he had a few little hiccups at the end of last prep, but uh, I think anyone who saw his trial at Bumby the other day, it was pretty much just a gallop, but it, you know, it would have been hard not to want to have something on him. He's, uh, he's only a, a little cacker, but as we all know, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog, and he's certainly got plenty of that. So, you know, he's, uh, he was always going to be capable of doing that. Where can you take him to next? What kind of distance range can he get to? Oh, look, I think he, he does like being fresh. He does like short courses. So, you know, I, I always thought he'd probably get a mile, but I, now I'm changing my mind. I think he's probably best kept fresh. And what about the ride of Jade McNaught? Yeah, brilliant. Uh, I, I did expect to be settled further back, but he jumped very well, and she just showed her initiative and put him where, where he needed to be. So top class ride. Congratulations, Lou. Well done. Thank you. There's Lou Luciani, always a big rap for the claiming apprentices, not afraid to put them on, and they normally repay him in spades. Michael Heaton will join Jay McNaught for a quick word now. Yes, I certainly will. Thanks, Scott. And we'll grab a quick word from Jay. We won't keep her too long because it is very, very warm. Jade, a very tough barrier draw, 11 out of 12, but you got into a beautiful spot. You must have been wrapped.
wrapped. Yeah, I was just lucky with the speed on. I was actually meant to be a lot further back than that, but we got a tail because he's been playing up in the gates and he sprung the sprung the gates a bit better than I thought. And um, we were lucky with the speed on. He got a lovely trail into the race and let down well. The two leaders were cutting each other up out in front, so you would have been pretty confident of being able to get over the top of Metro Boy there? Yeah, I was surprised how well he kicked on, actually. Um, but I rode him last start, and he didn't get the, didn't get the 1,100. The 1,000 suits him better, but lucky mine was too good today. How is the heat out there for the jockeys at the moment? Yeah, it's pretty dry. <laughs> uh, Geiger Gem in the next. You've had a good association with this horse in the past. Possible improver from a better draw? I think so. He um, had a bit of a tough run last start, so we'll hope for improvement. Well done here. Good luck for the rest of the day. Thank you. 4, 2, 12.